All right, guys, we just rolled in the next one. We got the dump truck, skid steer, excavator, and somewhere back there's a roller. Any guesses what we're getting into today? All right, so Aaron's getting the roller unloaded. What we're gonna tie into today is uh, these people here are wanting to put in, I believe it's a 40 by 60 pole barn. I got some red flags marking where it goes. We got about six or seven feet of fill back there in that corner. About three or four feet of fill over there and about four or five feet of fill here. We're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is come in here and strip this topsoil. It's mostly gravel. I don't know if there's much to save. We'll uh, save what we can. And then we're gonna have to go down they got uh, 15, 20 acres here, but down over the hill there somewhere, there's a little like camelback in the field there. So we're gonna go down there, rob a bunch of dirt, haul it up here, shove it in in lifts, level it off, compact it, and hopefully we end up with a building pad. So uh, first things first, let's strip some topsoil. So we got most of this stripped back. There is very little topsoil here and a whole lot of rock, which I guess is good, unless you want to grow grass on a back slope. But uh, we got her pretty much stripped down. That's the topsoil is on top. It's got a lot of rock in it. I don't know for sure what we're going to do with it. We may end up pulling it down there in the field and trying to fill in our borrow pit hole. But uh, that's probably three trucks of those rock there we scrounged up. I was just having a hard time talking myself into burying it because we put that back on top, cut this pad off. 
So we're pretty much down, as you can see right here, pretty much down to the bottom of the rock. There's a little dusting of rock in there, yeah, but it's not uh, to the brown spot there. We're pretty much getting through it. So I pretty much scavenged all the rock there is to scavenge. Uh, and I think we're ready to start hauling dirt. So uh, Aaron's getting this arranged. I'm gonna hop in the Volvo, go over the hill here and uh, get our barrel pit set up. I need to strip topsoil down there as well. And uh, see what happens. See what kind of mood this old girl's in this morning. Don't worry, I done checked fluids and make sure the tires weren't gonna fall off this morning. Uh, say that now I just started to die. Come on, baby. Don't give up on me yet. I know it's really hard to see great on camera, but there's like a rolling hump right here in this little field. And that's basically what we're gonna try to dig off and haul up here on top. I don't wanna leave a, I don't wanna leave a mess down here, so we're gonna try to save the top so we'll put it back and make it look nice when we're done. But we gotta get probably 30 to 40 bucks of dirt down here. See if we can get him to drive a truck. Can't bust us out too bad if we're all broke. Nine years, eleven months. Nine years. Nobody's counting, though. Yeah. No, no one's counting. Well, I feel like I just like really want to walk up to the window and go license and registration, please. Yeah. 
Stickers on. Oh my goodness, look how dirty that windshield is. A real glass. I know, and I was like, dang, I don't have any stickers with me. I didn't even think about running into you. You were the first one that tagged the Volvo, though. Yeah, well, I had to. I had to. I had to. I'm not sure your wife approves of your driving over there. <laughs> oh, you got the thumbs up. Got thumbs up. That's better than. Is that as far as she goes up? No, no she, she goes, goes up. up That should work, then just pull forward real slow. And... There we go. Perfect. All right, we got Officer Hoover loaded this time. We're gonna let him go. Uh... That just sounds weird. Officer Hoover's a good friend and a great guy. Got several videos with him. He also has a channel called DOT Bear Woodworkers. Go check that out. But uh, he's off. We gotta get a little more tough, little strip, so he'll be ready to go when he gets back. Aaron's up there socializing, not doing much anything. I think old Officer Hoover's having fun. He was gonna haul one load, and I think that's like load number four. But it's worked out pretty good because we got an extra person because I'm in the track hill now. Hoover's driving the truck and uh man behind the scenes is up there on the skid steer busting out great so we can roll it. So uh thank you. Hoover's still going. I think that's uh 
load uh, 10 or 11. There's up around the skids there, getting around pretty good. We're getting there. Got a pretty good little area dug out here. I'm on my second pass up the hill. Boys been keeping you busy, they all think. This is load number 14. Maybe we still at it. I think we get one more on there. We got DOT on our side today. Let's see if we can overload them. Might as well have it rolling off all the sides. Let's uh I'm gonna head up here on the hill and see what they got. I think we're getting pretty close to uh Need to run the roller up there, so better send him off. I love that truck. It ain't worth the crap for going down the road, but jobs like this, it works out uh, perfect. I shouldn't say that. It does go up down the road pretty good. But uh, it's a good mixture between on-road, off-road. Let's go up here. Aaron's been busting Paul's out, and I think we're due for a due for a compaction. <laughs> we're getting ready to lose. We're getting ready to lose our truck driver. Yes, we I was, are. I was asking you how he did. Well, he saved us about three hours, wouldn't you say? Who's paying the bills when I answer that question? <laughs> 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 you, you said you couldn't keep up. So I asked, I said, is he fast or is you slow? He needs hey, to put it back down to low range. I think he was in low. It's a tactical, it's a tactical what, slow is, or smooth is fast, fast is slow, yeah. or some, you know, so some, some that's what it fast. was, just slow and steady. See, if I, keep him, if I keep him in the cab, he only found one violation in the cab. I didn't have wishy-washy fluid. Well, I didn't check the blinkers and everything else. Well, they're all working perfect. Hey, it was off you, you can You can, check, you can so. check the video. <laughs> all right, Hoover's oh, heading out. And uh, we got to get the compacting over there. Yeah. Yeah. We got more work to do. All right, unfortunately, Hoover had to head out. Man behind the scenes is going to knock off those few piles there. I'm going to try. I didn't get to drive this thing on the last job because uh, Matt was on it. We're going to hop on this old beauty here. See what we got. The only thing I've done is loaded it on or off a trailer. Oh, quit your beeping. That's enough of that on on off go go well that's easy
Aaron, I was a little worried that I was going to pack in there as dry as what that dirt is. But, uh, man, that packed really nice. Take it back. Maybe this will make a good lake. Uh, I don't know. That, that material there is a little better. We hit a little better spot. This stuff over here, I think if it was wetter, it'd be all right. But, man, that is, that's looking good. It's looking good, bud. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. Take me to eat, all baby. Right. We'll eat. You're driving. What are we eating? Oh, you want to go to Evansville? Evansville? Well, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, you got plans tonight. I forgot. We're like two hours from Evansville. Yeah, be a good lunch. All right, we have made it back from lunch. Oh, this guy over here, he even bought for me. Can you believe that? I mean, technically, I paid you and you used that money to buy my food, so I still bought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it's a beautiful day, the rain hasn't hit yet, and we are gonna go back to uh we're back to hauling dirt, get in there lift on this thing. I think I'm gonna set you guys up over here on the time lapse and uh let you enjoy the show. Right, guys here's the deal what we say got in there 12 loads in there 12 loads this man thinks it's enough i do i, I think still think enough. we're about four loads short well i know what's going to happen here you're going to make it to where we're four loads short just so you can be right no because if i have yeah. to haul four more loads that cost me more money gets out of my profit margin so i'm gonna haul just the right amount of dirt you got the right amount of dirt right now uh, i think we're short i don't all think right so. so here's how we're going to settle this argument I'm going to hop in the old pumpkin over there. This man here is going to grab the laser. And uh, we're going to start busting these piles out. And uh, roughly see about how far we get. I agree we have enough dirt to do the pad. I don't think we have enough dirt to transition. Yeah. You're yeah, just going to argue. Load. You're like my wife. You're just going to argue to argue, aren't you? You're like my dad. You can never agree with me. You always got to think that you're the better. That's because me and your dad are always right. <laughs> Uh, I agree, just like you hey, that. I had that pretty close to grade all the way across besides on this end here. I was a little low. I don't know if you can hear him back here, but he's doing this. If you call grade a C minus, I'll give you credit for it. That's an A plus. <laughs> Rough dig grade, that's an A plus. All right, let's make it happen. Anything you'd like to say, Mr. Man behind the scenes? Well, since you raised it four inches, no, you no, no. that. No, I'm coming, out this, I'm coming out of this kids too. It's gonna it's, get right here. It's falling about right. Falling about right? Yeah. See, it's about four inches you put fill over. See, I gotta go down quite a bit. I still gotta go down. So you trying so, to tell me my eyeball and that laser agree? <laughs> what I'm saying <laughs> oh, is, you're is you, know, you, you what filled you're saying up. Is, what he's saying is he's gonna do anything to tell the truth. No, you raised that four inches over there. No. Yes, you did. No. I already had it. I don't, I don't want to hear that. It's oh, telling me we need to, need to go down I don't need again. To do it. I'll just use my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
couple more of these pads. I don't even need you no more. <laughs> well, I'm doing a good job that's, teaching you how. That's totally not true. I take that back. All right, I had to go get a drink real quick. But as I was saying, where he's pushing all this dirt, I knew that was low on this end here. I knew that that was low because as it comes out, we've got more fill that we've got to do from up where we started. So I knew this side was going to be a little low. Uh, but he didn't want me to get no more than two foot. So before he put the roller on it, so that's why I kept this side a little bit lower. Now up here, what he did to me, and I know he's going to say different, but what he did to me was, is he started filling dirt in after he said, this is where I want final grade. He comes back and starts packing dirt in. And so he raises it four inches. And that spot was right here. So now he can say that he's right. But I totally disagree with it because out here was supposed to be great. You're as good as me. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but what he did, he went high here off of what I had already. If he'd left it alone, it'd have been right on grade, right here. He just won't listen. You just won't listen, will you? You're always right. What happens when you put an amateur on a uh, skid steer? So, said I need to cut an inch. Just to kind of show you here. I don't know if you can see this great stick. So that was more like a foot cut. I don't know, maybe whenever I said cut one, he, he thought I meant cut a foot, but I meant one inch. Oh, and here he comes. Come on, Johnny. That's a... 90% of it's perfect. You show him the one spot that's not. It's only fair. That's what you do to me. You did this. We had a roller coaster on. <laughs> I put my seatbelt on the roller. Oh, man. That was one of the moments I had to have him hold up because I did not have the camera to get it on film, but I wish I would have. I think what he was doing, I was going to check right in front of him, and I think he was trying to catch me and got a little too deep. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> See, he's coming after me. <laughs> he don't like it when I've got the camera. Just an inch, not a foot. So he's still low. 
You're still low in that hole you made. Right there. Still a little low. Talk some sense into them, so don't try no. to get them messed up. Who was right on there? It's a simple question, you or me. Well, no, it's not that simple yeah. because you raised it four inches. I did you not. Raised no. it four inches. We'd have yeah. plenty we to can, do it. All. I, I am almost to the point of I saying. I already showed them. I showed them. Almost to the point of saying, let's lower it four inches. Just to prove that we don't have enough dirt. Then we would have enough dirt. No, yeah. No, no, no. All right, so then we started this whole thing. I said we needed four more loads. So technically, we're both wrong because we need more than four more loads. <laughs> but I am closer to right than you. <laughs> All right, so I think what we're going to do tomorrow is we're probably going to be the great, greater and later attachment. I can't even talk. Great, greater and laser attachment in here. And buzz this off, but uh, we definitely need. I think the pad's pretty close. We probably ought to measure it. But we need a lot of dirt for our back slope. So, uh, yeah. Too low. That guy. That's all the help I can get, folks. <laughs> all right, guys, in all seriousness, here's uh, kind of the deal. We just measured this, and uh, we got a big enough flat area for the building to set on. We're in pretty good shape there. Uh, Aaron's going to do some pretty serious, pretty serious compacting there. And get that all rolled in this this dirt surprises me i it's got just enough moisture in it's packing real well it gets hard it gets real hard uh we made a little went a little aggressive on the uh lift but uh we're rolling in with the truck and the vibratory roller uh i can feel our roller roller vibrate from all over here so i think we're good where we're going to be shy on dirt is uh getting these transitions in uh we just don't have the dirt to transition that off and transition this off over here man i don't know if you guys can see that but from down here that is nice nice and flat so um i'm gonna let aaron roll that in real quick uh we did not come prepared today don't have a water cooler with us so it's gas station about 10 minutes up there eh, about five minutes up there oh 10 minutes trying to trip i'm gonna run against you something to drink real quick while he's rolling that in and i guess we'll come back and uh go back to loading dirt it's actually friday and we're running out of town we're running out of town man i cannot talk today running out of time but there's a chance of rain tonight so i'd really like to at least get the dirt we need up the hill uh so if it rains everything else is with equipment that's that, so one thing bad about my truck if it rains it's kind of done it's not like tiny or uh chris let's dig his whole truck where you run a little bit of mud so anyways i'm rambling i'm thirsty he's working we'll be back in a minute all right made it back cold pepsi and a water gotta stay hydrated aaron's pretty much got her rolled in it's uh really 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 pleased with the way that's compacted need to do something with these edges here but i think we've decided and we agreed that we need about uh seven more loads of dirt so he's gonna make a few passes there follow that up i think that's his third pass on he went this way back and forth and this way no i screwed that up other way back and forth it don't matter he made three passes but uh, about seven more loads there. Like I said, we got the pad pretty good. Uh, you can definitely see how he vibrated that off. And it got some compaction there. But we need to get over the edges and stuff here. So that's uh, next on the list. Crazy how much that little thing vibrates, man. Uh -oh. I got a sneaky plan here. Aaron's not done vibrating. I'm ready to haul dirt. So if I take this truck and back it down the hill, that means 
I don't have to walk to the track though. Somebody else has to walk to get the truck. I don't think that's evil. I just think that's genius. That's how I'm going to look at it. All right, guys, unfortunately, we lost the audio clip on this piece here, but uh, Aaron kind of caught on to what I was doing here and was not real happy about it. I was just trying to convince him that I was looking out for management and production here and trying to get his truck preloaded, but uh, as you can see here, he uh, he was not uh, he was not behind it <laughs> at all. So, but uh, got to have a little bit of fun on the job. Makes the, uh, makes the day go, a lot, go by a lot faster, let me tell you. This is the last scoop on load number seven of the third round. He must have fell asleep right there. Back in my all-time favorite piece of equipment here. It's a very sarcastic here to catch it. Guys, here's where we're gonna leave that at the end of the day. I'd love to sit here and polish on this thing for another hour or so, but I'd be divorced. That just don't make good financial sense. So we're gonna have to hit the road. We are close. I still think we may need a load of dirt or two, but I'm not gonna jump the gun on that. Uh, we'll head back down here tomorrow. We got a little more time to finesse this thing and uh, go at it. So uh, with that being said, we'll hit the road and see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, we are back for day two, and we are so lucky so far. We have missed all the rain. I don't know how long it's going to hold out. It's north of us, it's south of us, and it's west of us. Eventually, it's going to get to us. But went ahead and laid out the building this morning. We got the four corners all marked, and uh, we are pretty close. I think we're going to put one more load of dirt on this corner just to give us some insurance area there. Uh, then we got to rework this back angle slope a little bit. Got a little bit of a hump, some corners right there. That little hump right there i can take and work around the corner so we're gonna probably get two loads of dirt up here this morning so we got them and then we're gonna shape this thing up and make her look good all right it's official i've come to the conclusion that i just uh suck on the skin thing i'm gonna have to live with it this is my best attempt to at get this thing sloped in it uh it didn't turn out too bad we'll probably touch it up with the power rank of the greater attachment Aaron's uh, rolling what he can in here on the slope. He's actually getting quite a bit of it. I don't know what degree that is. I kind of, whatever it had to be from there to there. So. But it looks pretty good. We're going to come in here, set the uh, greater attachment, the laser up, and uh, go from there. 
All right, guys, got the greater attachment up. We're buzzing this thing off. I'm listening to that and I'm watching this. I love this little attachment. I saw a peep right there. That means we were dead all grade. The trick is just go nice and slow and easy. Gotta take your time. Aaron's out there double checking just for the heck of it. guys check that out it is really starting to uh shape up i will have to say i got lucky and i bought that greater attachment used and it's kind of a cheaper version but uh, i'd almost have to put that on my must have attachment list for a skid steer that and a pie rake that is uh one handy handy tool i don't know if you guys can see that slope i buzzed that slope off with that attachment it is spot on if you look up there across the pad that pad is just it's just absolutely money may have to invest in a taller tripod you guys follow me you realize that was a mishap but anyways uh man behind the scenes is down there he's attempting to run a track hoe and load some topsoil i think he's got some dirt in there y'all learn somehow right 
I'm gonna take a skid steer and uh, we're gonna shove this rock back, put this rock out here in front of the building pad, put a little bit of topsoil on the slope, and uh, we need to clean up a borrow pit, but we are definitely, definitely closing in on her. I think we still got about an hour or two before the rain hits, so borrow a catastrophe. We might just make it, folks. We might just make it. Right, guys as we fly down the job site there the first thing you see is the borrow pit it cleaned up really nice i'd say we even improved that field a little bit we got it i know it's hard to see grade on the drone but uh got a pretty good little hump out of the field there but uh, this here turned out absolutely awesome this dirt was a uh, good quality dirt had just enough moisture in to get some good compaction only thing i wish we could have done a little different is i had a little better topsoil to uh, spread around the edges here is just basically the sod down there but that pyrec does a pretty good job of busting that up and making it somewhat uh, presentable but got the rock spread around front and uh, got it to where they can approach the building uh, real nice it uh, man just really really pleased with the way it turned out it uh, and, the, and the customer's happy so that's always uh, that's always a good thing when you got a happy customer but uh, getting ready to load up and head out here as I spin around one thing I do want to point out it is crazy how much equipment it takes to uh, even do a small job like this I mean uh, freeze frame it right here look we got the truck trailer roller three different attachments for the skid steer uh it's just um it takes uh it takes equipment and money and effort to do anything right i guess but we got her hauled in here and we got her hauled back out but uh this is it guys that's what she looks like at the end of the day we're gonna call it a wrap on this one hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment and as always guys we shall catch you on the next one